The mission of the Confetti Foundation is to provide birthday parties to hospitalized children around the country. Um, we also just recently added outpatient oncology clinics and hospice facilities to our giving so they don't just have to be hospitalized but um, receiving treatment. We started in January 2014 and we have celebrated over 5,100 birthdays in 47 states and we are currently in 215 hospitals. I'm also the owner of Couture Parties. I'm a wedding and event planner by trade. So that's definitely helped in the party planning process and what I feel needs to be happening for a good party and all the products that we do need. So that definitely has helped. Eight years ago, my godson was born premature with many complications. Um, and during his hospital stay, I learned about a little boy who'd been in the hospital for an entire year, and he was celebrating his first birthday. His mom is a single mom, and she doesn't want to leave the hospital to go and get him supplies. The hospital wants to have a party. Um, it's not that they don't want to, they just don't have the means. So it got to me thinking, we have to make a difference, we have to change this. Being an entrepreneur, you just see a problem and you want to fix it, but they don't have the funding for it. So we're the first organization to be able to provide that. So for the party items, we have the standard cups, plates, napkins, wooden forks, wooden spoons. We like to use the wooden forks and spoons because they're different from the materials that they eat off all of the time, like the plastic ones. And we want them to be different because we want them to feel special, but also because it's a party, it's supposed to be different. All of the items match the theme of the box, just like how the child would have the theme for their party, whether it be dinosaurs or superheroes or princesses, whatever they currently want, we try to keep up with and we get that for them. So boxes actually go out in two different ways. One, they can get shipped to hospitals directly or they get shipped to our local volunteers in those areas. And those are called our birthday fairies and heroes. And that just means that they have signed up to be the face of the organization in their community and deliver the boxes. I also, I also created a lot of DIY options. So like on our website, you can learn how to make birthday cards and banners and, um, you know, for those teens who are looking for something to do. I go to Hasbro Children's Hospital once a month and throw a group birthday party. And while I was there, um, there was a little girl who had just been admitted for cancer treatment. Her name was Abigail. And she told me that the next day was gonna be her birthday. So I looked at her and her mom and I said, what do you love? What kind of birthday party do you want? I'll be here tomorrow to throw you a birthday party. And she's like, I love sports. And I was like, okay. Tell me some of your favorite teams. And she said, she said, I love the Celtics and I love the Patriots. I said, okay, done. So I went home, I started making some phone calls. I got a hold of the New England Patriots as well as the Boston Celtics. And I said, I need you guys to put um, happy birthday Abigail up on your Jumbotron and take a picture for me. So we did and they sent us the picture and I blew up the picture and I brought it. I went to the hospital and I brought balloons and we brought all kinds of decorations and we set up the party. The Patriots actually sent me a video from one of their players wishing Abigail a happy birthday. Happy birthday, Abigail. This is Steven Guskowski from the Patriots. We're all rooting you on and hoping you have a great birthday as well as um, different paraphernalia, some signed items, um, wishing her happy birthday and letting in this beautiful note from the Kraft family, um, you know, saying they were thinking of her. It was just magical to have them. And I asked for sports. <clears throat> like, as soon as I walked in there, all I saw was basically my dream that I wanted came true for my birthday. I know that we're making a difference because you just see it in children's faces and you see it in parent faces and a lot of the times children will be so down and you get the opportunity to interact with them and they start laughing and smiling and the parents are in the background going, thank you. Giving them the opportunity to just let loose and forget about things, even if it's for five minutes. That's five minutes in the step in the right direction. So for me personally, um, it's, it's humbling. It really is, and you know, being in the event world, and there's so many emotions involved. So you know, the good and the bad and the ugly, they always say when you're planning events. But when you're throwing these parties for these kids, it's only good. Mm -hmm.